In the previous video on this playlist, we had just done a show staff page uh, where we read from the database and we did all the code. What we want to try now is we want to go on through the different aspects of CRUD. So we have delete and we have create and we have update left to do. What I'd like to do first of all before I get on to delete is I want to put options on uh, these, this page beside each of the different members of staff to allow the administrator to either edit or delete these different staff members. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to go back to the code and I'm just going to add in these two extra echo statements. What these are essentially doing are adding in two extra cells on each row and we set it up so that we are putting in a image, first of all, which is an edit image. And we hyperlink that image by putting in an anchor tag beforehand. And in that anchor tag, the href attribute is pointing to a page. We haven't created this page yet, but I know I'm going to create it and I know what I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it editstaff.php. Also, I'm putting in as a get method I'm adding in the attribute staff ID and setting it equal to whatever the staff ID is of this current member of staff by again dipping into that row array. Let's come back from the result of our query and picking out the value of whatever the staff ID field holds. I do exactly the same process for delete staff as well. Again, I've put in a delete image and I've come along and I have added in a anchor tag that points to delete staff.php and again I'm using the get method to add on to the URL or the address bar um, the staff ID that I want to delete. As well as those two cells I also want to make sure that I add in the two header cells at the top just to identify to uh, the administrator that one is to edit and the other is to delete. I also add in two, the two images that I need. So I've already referred to delete.png uh, and also edit.png. So I've just added two different icon files there into the same folder. And let's save that and go to our browser and see how that looks. So now we've got the two extra columns, edit and delete. And I've got an edit icon for each of the different staff members and a delete icon for each of the different staff members. Again, that's been dealt with by the loop. But the key thing is when I hover over each of the different icons, if you look down at the tooltip, down at this area here, as I hover over uh, the icons, you can see where it's pointed to. Well, it's pointed to edit staff.php and it's giving the staff ID of the current staff that I'm hovering over. So if I move down to Karen Smith, I'll see her staff ID is two. To Tim Masterson, I'll see the ID and the tooltip down the bottom left is pointing to staff ID equal to three. So whichever staff member I choose, it is going to give that staff ID over to the next edit uh, page uh, for editing. And it's the same with delete. So whichever staff member that I choose this rubbish bin, garbage bin for, um, it's going to give me staff ID equal to whatever the staff ID is of that particular staff member. And that's what I want to do in this section of the video. The next video on the playlist is going to show you how to delete. So what to actually do or how to write this delete staff.php page when I click on the garbage bin symbol beside each of the different staff members.